The current water level of Lake Mead, as of Saturday, the 6th of December 2025, at 4 p.m. MSL, stands at 1,059.70 feet MSL. This elevation represents a slight daily rise of plus 0.16 feet from the previous reading of 1,059.55 feet on Friday, December 5th. Despite this minor increase, the reservoir remains 169.3 feet below its full pool elevation of 1,229.00 feet. By content, Lake Mead is operating at only 32.42% of its full capacity of 25,877,000 acre feet, based on the Bureau of Reclamation's data. For water year 2026, which is 18% complete, day 66 of 365, total inflows have reached 1,201,826 acre feet which is 118.62% of the average inflow for this period. Total releases, however, have been 937,507 acre-feet, representing only 10.42% of the minimum required release of 9 million acre-feet. Overall, water storage in the reservoir has fallen by 323,323 acre-feet during WY 2026. The current level is 1.42 feet lower than the level recorded one year ago, though it is 2.41 feet higher than the low point recorded for water year 2026. Long-term projections indicate that levels could potentially approach or fall below the historic 2022 low of 1,041 feet in the next two years. In practical terms, Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the country, is only about 32.33% full. That giant white ring on the canyon walls isn't a curiosity. It is a giant, stark line, marking a 169-foot deficit. Here's what's really frustrating. Even with all the conservation and a promising wet start to the water year, we are actually 1.68 feet lower than we were this exact time last year. This relentless decline underscores the severity of the two-decade-long mega drought. It highlights that the enormous amount of water still being released downstream is outpacing nature's ability to replenish the system. Now, let's inject a little optimism. Water year 2026, which began in October, has been a hopeful start for the lower basin region, particularly California and Nevada. Over the past couple of months, we've seen drought conditions improve by a category or two across wide areas. Some spots in California and western Nevada have received over 300% of their normal precipitation for this time of year. Downtown Los Angeles, for instance, had its wettest November in nearly 60 years. This initial deep soaking is vital. It improves the root zone soil moisture, meaning that when the heavy winter snows finally arrive, less water will be absorbed by dry dirt and more will be available to run off into the reservoirs. This gives us a fighting chance heading into the critical snow season. But the climate models quickly dial back the relief. We are operating under the influence of a La Nina pattern which historically leans toward drier, warmer winters for the crucial southern Rockies, the actual source of the snowpack that feeds the Colorado River. The NOAA forecast for the next few months is, at best, cautious. They are projecting a potential break in precipitation over the next two weeks, with the longer-term outlook leaning toward warmer-than-normal temperatures through February across the southwest. It feels like we are being given a sip of hope, only to be reminded that the climate odds are still stacked against us. The Bureau of Reclamation's two-year 
most probable projection confirms the severity of our predicament. They project that Lake Mead's elevation will likely drop to a new historic low of around 1,038 feet by September 2027. This level is two feet below the record low, set in 2022. This projection means we are almost certain to enter a more severe Tier 2 shortage condition in 2026, triggering further water cuts for Arizona, Nevada and Mexico. The current situation is simple. The recent wet start was a blessing, but it is not the solution to a 160-foot structural deficit. The future of the water supply for 40 million people rests almost entirely on whether a massive, persistent snowpack can pile up in the Rocky Mountains and the Sierra Nevada this winter. We are not out of the woods. We are now closer to that ominous 1,038-foot low than we are to the 1,075-foot level 1 shortage trigger. We must continue to track these numbers closely because the future of the American Southwest is being measured in every single foot. What do you think? Will this winter deliver the miracle snow we desperately need or are we heading for that record low? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit subscribe for the next update.